Yesterday, we saw Sue Riga still in pursuit of Mitch Fredericks with the usual result. Mitch escaped with his bachelor standing. And yesterday, we saw Dr. Corey still fighting not to perform the operation Mitch wants him to do. But life has a habit of coming up with changes at the most unexpected times, as we're about to see. Let's look in at the drugstore this evening. Let's see what a man is like when he's feeling blue. <coughs> What do you think of Farley Davidson? <clears throat> I say, uh, what do you think of Farley Davidson? What do you mean? What? Who? Farley Davidson. I never heard of him. <clears throat> <laughs> Very amusing, isn't it? <clears throat> they used to do that in Vaudeville years ago. You see the humor of it? Huh? Uh, you see, I asked what you thought of Farley Davidson. Then I said I never heard of him. <laughs> it certainly is amusing. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. <clears throat> Oh, you certainly missed an I mean, amusing exchange, Lola. I did? <laughs> yes. A bit of spontaneous humor, you might say. Well, what happened? Well, Mitch Fredericks can tell you. He certainly is quiet this evening. Oh. He didn't even get the humor of this last exchange. Uh, Calvin, would you let me have a bottle of shampoo, please? You know the kind I use. Uh, you want the large size, don't you? Fine. 10% saving on two bottles. That might be an idea. 15% saving on three bottles. Well, two should be enough for now, thanks. I can give you a special advantage on a whole case. Well, I think two bottles should do me for quite a while, Calvin. Thanks. Mm. Very well. Uh. Mitch, you uh, seem to be feeling pretty much alone in the world. Oh, it's just one of those nights, Lona. Probably old-fashioned, but I just plain got the blues. No particular reason, either. Go or stay? What do you mean? Shall I go or shall I stay? You're not the only one who's ever had the blues, Mitch. Sometimes you want to be alone when you feel this way. Other times you want company. You're one in a million, Lona. There are 50 million women who are one in a million. You can answer one question for me. Well, I'll try. How does a guy go about getting back his own self-respect? Depends on how he lost it, don't you think? Yeah, I guess that's true. I assume we're talking about some friend of yours? No, I won't use the usual subterfuge, Lona. I'm talking about me. You know, I actually wanted to kill Byron Ferris for what he did to me. Me wanting to kill somebody, I didn't think I had it in me. You don't. You didn't go through with it. But I thought about it. I thought about it very seriously. It's pretty much of a shock to find out you can feel the things that you always thought were horrible in other people. It's all over, Mitch. Why even think about it? There's something else, Lona. Look what I'm doing to your husband. I keep insisting that he operate. He doesn't want to, but I keep right on insisting. Mitch, you understand why he hasn't agreed to it? Well, of course I understand. That makes it even worse. His opinion is that a specialist should do the job, but I keep putting him on the spot. I've been thinking only of me. You know, I examine some of the things that I've done lately and find I don't like myself very much. I think the answer is for me to go, not stay. I don't blame you. I hate to see a guy feeling sorry for himself. No, not for that reason. I just don't like to interrupt people when they're having the blues. You're obviously enjoying yourself. Maybe five minutes from now, you'll find you're not getting anywhere, and you'll stop. I hate to admit this, but I'm afraid you're probably right. Here you are, Lona Corey. Oh, thank you, Calvin. And don't try to cheer this man up. He's having a lovely time. Looks pretty miserable to me. Night all. Good night. Good night, Lona. Are you really having a lovely time? Sure, it's a lot of satisfaction being down in the dumps. There is? Mm-hmm. Evening, everybody. Lovely night, isn't it? Somebody dead? What happened? Nothing. I'm trying to enjoy myself. You look terrible. Mitch Frederick said there's a lot of fun in this. He's a newspaper editor. You ought to know what he's talking about. Well, how do they do it? Mm -hmm. Just look terrible. Like him. He's been doing it for the past hour. This is ridiculous. How can you be happy except by being happy? Well, I must confess, I'm not getting much out of it either. Gentlemen, I'm with you. How about the three of us playing a game of checkers? Third man plays the winner. Say, that sounds like fun. I'll get the checkers. <laughs> Say, Mitch, 
Did you ever try planting a rock to grow a sunflower? Seems like that's what I've been doing, huh, Mr. Kratz? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Corey. Sure does. Put on lots of salt. Boy. Them's my sentiments exactly. Boy. Hi. Hi. I wasn't gone very long, was I? Why, you men have been busy. It was easy. Just poured this in, heated it, put it in the corn, and bingo. Pop went the corn. You know, I've had this on my mind ever since last night when we couldn't get any at the movie. Well, I'm real proud of you, man. You didn't even upset my kitchen. Like Sam says, there's nothing to it. I'm going to take this over to my Uncle Mitch. Oh, wait a minute, Be Sam. Right back. But I just saw Mitch over at the drugs. I hope you didn't mind about all this, dear. I felt I had to do something to entertain Sam when he got over here and found that Roy had gone to a Cub Scout meeting. He was disappointed. And I'm afraid his Uncle Mitch isn't very good company for him these days. Well, I think popping corn was a fine idea. What did Mitch have to say? Not much. Feeling a little sorry for himself. I see. Oh, not because of his leg. Darling, he understands completely the position you've taken. Please believe that. He knows why you don't want to perform the operation. Well, he may say that, but he can't mean it. He does, dear, really. There's a chance that I might be able to restore the use of that leg. Now, how can a man say that he will agree to my not wanting to operate? Floyd, you've made up your mind you're not the one to do it. That's the end of it. That's what I wanted to tell you, Sam. I saw him just a few minutes ago at the drugstore. Oh. Can I watch television? Well, sure. You boys go inside. I'll put the popcorn in the bowl and be right with you. Dad, but when Mitch get better soon, he was going to help me build a kite. Well, Sam, he can still do that. He's not sick, really. He gets around very well. Yeah, but he, yeah, but he can't run. How can we get the kite up in the air? Well, look, Sam. Uh... I, I bet you could fix his leg. Uh, Sam, why don't you go in and turn the set on? We'll be right in. I bet you could fix him uh, off as good as new. I'm not sure, Sam. I bet you could. Oh, look, why don't you go in and turn on the television set, or you're going to miss the program you like so much. When are you going to operate? Uh, why don't you run along into the living room and turn the set on? You'll aren't miss you the show. Aren't you going to? Uh, Sam, you run along now. Okay. Oh, wait, wait a minute, Sam. I didn't mean to be so sharp with you. But you know, sometimes your friends have problems, and when they do, they, they're hard to talk to. But I'm your friend. Please believe me. Here, dear, you take this inside. Okay. Well, I'm in fine shape. I'm now snapping at children. Oh, he understood. Let's have some popcorn and watch television. Hmm? What exactly did Mitch have to say? That your judgment was that a special should perform that operation, yet he keeps putting you on the spot. He says he's been thinking only of himself. Did he say he would agree to a specialist? No, he didn't. Do you think he would? No, I honestly don't. Then actually, if I performed the operation, I'd be giving him a chance that he wouldn't otherwise have. Or am I rationalizing? Charlie, do you want me to answer? No, I don't. I guess I'm the only one who can answer that. Hey, come on in. The Flying Hawk is on. Well, we'll be right in, dear. The Flying Hawk is fighting 15 fellas. They all say he can't win. But at least he's willing to try, isn't he, Sam? Come on in. It's well. Laura, I'm going out for a little while. Do you mind? No, dear. Did Mitch say where he was going, or is he staying at the drugstore? He didn't seem to be going anywhere. If he still wants me to perform that operation, I'll do it. I'll see you later. 